my name is Isil Khan and in this video we'll be just learning the missing angles determination of a traverse. Just suppose a closed traverse. The shown traverse is just NTS which means not to scale. And let's say if some internal angles are known like angle A, angle B, C, D and angle E which is 125 degrees. Now we are asked to determine angle F and angle G. So these two angles are unknown and we are asked to determine them. As the data is just enough to determine these two angles, so I will come directly into solution. But before starting the solution, I recommend you to watch the previous lecture. Because in that lecture, we have already learned the sum of internal and external angles determination. If you have not watched that video yet, the link is down below in the description. So in the previous lecture, we have learned the sum of internal angles equals 2 and minus 4 times 90 degrees. Notice in the given diagram, A, B, C, D, E and F are the internal angles of the traverse. So 2 and minus 4 times 90 equals A plus B plus C plus D plus E and plus F. Now we have to do little plug and check in the formula like 2N, N is of course the number of edges or number of sides, where of course we have 6 number of sides. You can count them right, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the number of edges are 6. So 2N means 2 times 6 minus 4 times 90 equals A. A is 130 degrees plus B. B is 140 and C is 100 and D is 115 degrees and of course E is 125 degrees and lastly plus F. Now we have to do little mathematic for the F which is the internal angle of the given traverse like the right hand side of the equation must be 720 degrees which means 2 times 6 equals 12 minus 4 that's 8 times 9O which is of course 720 degrees equals the summation of all right hand side which is 130, 140, 100, 115 and 125. This is of course 610 degrees and plus F. Now we can turn 610 degrees to another side of the equation like 720 degrees minus 610 degrees equals F. So if we subtract 610 degrees from 720 degrees we can get of course F equals 110 degrees and that's it. So when we have angle F then of course we can calculate angle G so easily because we already know the whole circle is made up 360 degrees. So if we subtract 110 degrees from 360, we can get of course angle G which is 250 degrees. And that's it. This is how we can determine the missing angles of the travels. So if you like the video, make sure you thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to motivate me for making more videos. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time.